So is it better to sit or is it better to stand when doing work, at least as it relates to focus and productivity? And the answer is both. There've been a number of systematic studies exploring what are called sit stand desks. So these are desks that can be set to a height that makes standing the best practice and then they can be lowered to a height that makes sitting the best practice or the easiest practice, I should say. And it turns out that just sitting is terrible for us, okay? And there's an enormous number of studies out there that point to the fact that people who sit for five or six or seven hours a day doing work have all sorts of issues related to sleep, neck pain, cognition suffers, there are a number of cardiovascular effects, even digestion. There may even actually be some almost pressure effects on the pelvic floor and things of that sort, depending on the chairs that one uses, but that people who stand are in a slightly better situation where many of those health metrics improve, but that people that do a combination of sitting and standing at the same desk throughout the day or move from one desk to another, if they don't have a combination sit stand desk, that's going to be best. The good news is it's very easy to convert a sit desk into a stand desk. You can just stack some boxes. I've done this at times or stack books. There are also some pedestals and things that you can purchase if that's um, your preference in order to set your computer at a particular height. And of course, there are desks that have motors and there are ones that have cranks and there are all sorts of variations, both um, in terms of the types and whether or not they have motors as well as the cost to these things. So they can go from very low cost, like placing boxes or books as a, as to create a standing desk um, to very high cost in some cases. Now, what's interesting, if you look at the scientific literature, is that people who decreased their sitting time by about half each day, so they took, let's say they were working for um, seven hours a day, three and a half hours of the, the, that day, they decide to stand. And it's not even clear that it matters that they do all those three hours in one bout, or they divide that up into shorter bouts of a half an hour and then sit for half an hour, et cetera, alternating back and forth, showed incredibly significant effects on reduced neck and shoulder pain, increase in subjective health, vitality in uh, work-related environments, and perhaps most importantly for sake of today's discussion, improvement in cognitive conditioning and the ability to embrace new tasks and cognitive performance. There are several studies that if one wanted to explore, they could um, explore this in more detail. I'll put a link to this as well. Um, the article that I'm referring to is called Effect of Workplace Sit-Stand Desk Intervention on Health and Productivity. And I like this paper because many of the papers out there focus on the effects of sit-stand desks on health and trying to get people to burn more calories, improve their posture, relieve neck pain, slumped over, et cetera, but not on productivity. And this particular paper focuses also on the metrics of productivity. It has its own study and also references a number of important studies. What does this mean for you and me? Well, I've long used a standing desk or some variation thereof. What this means is that we should probably spend about half of our work time standing and about half of it sitting, but not all sitting or not all standing. If you had to do all one or the other, standing is going to be better than sitting. What happens if we just stand? Well, that can also generate some postural issues in terms of stabilization and fatigue. You know, I, I have a good friend um, who's in the movement and uh, physical rehabilitation and physiology space. His name is Kelly Starrett. Um, he's very impressive in all those dom domains. And he always says, you know, we weren't designed to sit all day, but we also weren't designed to stand all day. And I think that's true. If we were to look back at our species over um, tens or, or hundreds or thousands of years, we would find that indeed we did sit down. We did lie down. It wasn't that we were standing all day long. That said, most everybody, at least in the US, is not getting sufficient cardiovascular exercise or movement throughout the day. And standing at one's desk can improve some of those health metrics and again, can improve productivity, probably because of those postural effects that I talked about earlier, that when we lie down, there tends to be less alertness in our in our brainstem, if you will, there's less activation of those brainstem circuits involved in alertness. And indeed the circuits that involve a kind of a calming effect on the body get activated. And as we become upright, standing or seat or sitting, but especially standing, then those brainstem circuits for alertness kick on, which are going to make it easier to remain focused. If you are going to start standing for half of your work time, you will notice that it takes a few days to adapt. You'll notice a lot of shifting from side to side. You definitely want to wear comfortable shoes. Some people will do this on a wooden floor. Other people feel uncomfortable unless they're on carpet. You have to figure out what works for you, but it can take a little bit of time to adapt. I have to say after now about 10 years of working at a sit-stand desk, 
I find I can't sit for too long before I want to stand. And my standing bouts can be anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours, although two hours would be a little bit long. And then I catch myself kind of leaning on the desk off to the side. So again, the idea is to stand, but not be leaning on the desk. Obviously, if you're typing or you're writing, there'll be some leaning involved, but that's what the literature support. 